go on the ropes yeah. and lost at EVO 2010. It was a really rough one, but, you know, we can see that he's a very strong competitor. He has a good defensive style, and he is not afraid to just kind of hold back, get pushed back into the corner, as you see he's doing right now, but he's right. still maintaining the light lead. Yep, and right now, I mean, for those players who have actually come from Super to Arcade Edition, Guile has received a lot of downgrades. Yeah. You know, he's actually been weakened a lot. And so, but Lamer Boy has chosen to stick with him right now. Yeah, you know, he definitely received a few uh, nerfs to his core gameplay. I think he received a few buffs that we haven't seen Guile players really making use of yet. Right. But I'm not too sure about that. But I know that Lamer Boy was one of the uh, more vocal uh, complainers. Yeah. Or, no, he was, he was <laughs> I don't want to say complainers, he was less pleased. Yes. Uh, and you saw there, right there, uh, Starnab actually did a, on, on Guile's getup, uh -huh. he actually did his own uppercut to beat out the flash kick yeah, yeah, yeah. from Guile and after he did that uh -huh. you notice that Lamer Boy's style all of a sudden he kind of was became a little more tentative Starnab right now doing yeah. a great job baiting things out yeah he recognized that oh my, op my opponent is going to take some really really strong offensive risks and that might make me switch up my defensive gameplay style right I mean a lot of times Guile players you can kind of judge when they're going to do wake up flash kicks by their meter because yeah. a lot of oh, Guiles yeah. like to do flash kick and then save themselves with an FADC just That's in right. case you block it and so Starnab was smart enough just to... Oh, no, I don't like that desperation super. I there. know, I think he actually wanted a reversal punish. I, uh, yeah. That's but a very fast super, but he just looks like he missed it. Yeah. I'm not sure if reversal popped up there. I'm sorry. Uh, and plus the other thing, too, it. is that Fei Long's Rekka is actually... Uh, oh, actually, oh, I think it's only the, only the EX one is safe. Yeah, yeah, actually, he did second so. hit. So that's yeah. minus seven, if I'm not mistaken. So first game there is going to go to Starnab, coming all the way... To Las Vegas from Paris. Wow, is yeah. Lamer Boy actually considering a character about it, change? He's I have, considering yeah, it. I have never seen Lamer Boy use anyone but Guile, and no. so he's going to stick with Guile he's here. Guile, yeah. Now, Fei Long definitely a very tough character. In, in the previous version of Street Fighter 4 in, in Super, Fei Long actually had a hard fight against Guile, but thanks to the little nerfs to Guile and a few buffs to Fei Long, this fight has actually shifted. I think I believe in favor of Fei Long. Yep. Hard to call, but you know, even in Super, Starnab was one of the more impressive guys. I, I'm sorry, Phalongs. It kind of feels like right. when Phalong burst onto the scene, he was one of the guys, one of the first yeah. ones that was incredibly For impressive. Sure. So, no surprise to see him still very strong in this matchup as he finds the link there after the EX Chicken Wing. And he really had uh, Lamer Boy pressed up against the wall this whole time. And like we said, Lamer Boy does not have a problem fighting with the style, but it's just not getting him anywhere right now. Right. I mean, uh, we talked about this actually just in the previous match, Ryan and I, about how Guile basically has to win by keeping as much real estate between himself and the corner as possible. And you can see that every round, Starnam has just pushed Lamer Boy right into the corner almost immediately. And now he has him there again. And, oh, man, he is just taking it right at Andrew right now. Andrew having a very hard time. Ooh. There's that meaty flame yep. kick right there. Lots of invincibility on that move. He's going to break through most of what Guile did. And, you know, to counter it, I mean, he could fl he can FADC his own uppercut exactly. to safety. Exactly. So, uh, kind of forces you to eyeball the meter of a DP user every time. That's something that we started to see in the long-term development of this game. People using that as a more offensive tool. Right. And for a character like Thalong, such a strong offensive character, goes a long way. Right. And Starnab is going to...